a heart attack. Fast fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and packs. I back up my actions. Fact, don't ask. Grab reactions. Jacked attack with every word. Then act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new soul bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for defeat. Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, before we do begin, let's give a brief little review. In the last part, we had Deku and his current journey. Now, Deku, he's gone undercover to try and discover more about the Children of Fire. And in the last part, he spent a month teaching people how to focus and harness their flames. Some of these people here, they have experienced firebending. However, their styles are sloppy or they aren't very good. And Deku, he tried to help them out. He introduced them to meditation. And whenever he did this, some people, they reacted negatively to it. Some acted good. And people, they noticed a bit more of a change. They noticed that their bending styles and their flames got weaker. And then they started to actually show more progress. When they started to focus their anger and rage, their bending started to see good progress, better than what they had before. However, you do actually have one of Deku's students. One of Deku's students, they saw a complete stop to their bending. And their problem was, they just don't know how to do this. They don't know how to act like a firebender. I mean, while they do have the anger, the rage, they can't focus it properly. And then again, there's just their style to it. There was Luna. She didn't understand what to do or how to really just do this. Whenever she was meditating, she accidentally slipped into the spirit world. And Deku, he had to go to the other side to bring her back. Now then, with that being said, we do actually have where Deku also did learn a bit more about lightning bending. And right now the person who is in charge they think right now is the best time to test them. It's been a month and they saw progress. And then there actually is Izuku. Izuku, he's going to be, well, tested here for sure. And right now we do actually have whenever, Deku. He is sitting down for breakfast with everybody else about two weeks later. And right now, Deku, he is going over a few things. As some people, they are talking and asking questions. Thanks to all of them, at least spending all this time together, they have started to all grow a bit closer. However, they aren't exactly friends. So, wait, hang on. I'm still confused on all this stuff. She slipped into the spirit world? Uh, yeah, she did. Okay, so, that's a thing. Yes, it is. It seems like a lot of people are forgetting about it nowadays. I mean, it just sounds crazy. So, she left her body, and you had to leave yours to find her. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. I mean, the best way I could put it is you basically turn into a ghost when you do that. Okay, 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 okay. So, ghost, spirits actually, but ghost is just an easier term for you to understand. Ghost are real. Essentially, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm confused about that then. Does that mean that demons are real? Um, no, just evil spirits. But how do you know? Well, I mean, I, I don't really know, but it's just from, from my understanding of it. Have you ever encountered a demon? No. I don't think so. So you don't know if they're real or not. Okay, like I said, it, listen, the whole thing was just a big disaster. Luckily, we got her back before she slipped into the spirit world forever. Wait, 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 wait. That's a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you fully cross over, then you can't come back. And, well, it's hard. I mean, there, there might be a way back, but... I just don't know. 
you'd have to find a way back to your body, and that enough sounds difficult. Now, the conversation will continue. And right now, they're actually sort of somebody, somebody does come walking into the room, and everybody they do go to turn to see them. As when that does happen, the person is going to walk over to their table and inform them as to what's going to be happening right now. Right now, they are going to be destroying a place that it quite simply needs to be done. It needs to be taken down and destroyed because of what it's doing. And everybody there are kind of confused. As the person, you're going to start elaborating. What they're currently going to be doing is taking down an energy power plant. And that doesn't surprise everybody. The man wants it burned down. He wants it destroyed because it's using old style energies instead of what they are currently using. And right now, that does confuse everybody. Why? It is a test. Needless destruction. Does it not seem interesting to you? I mean, we, we'll do it, but it's just, it's odd, isn't it? It is odd to some people. It is odd to others. But for right now, we do need to take this place down. In order for our proper world to rise, then we need to take down pieces of the old world. Along with that, this place has been running for quite a bit of time. It will cause a little bit of chaos. And when they are dealing with that, it'll secure us avenues to do something else. Now, Deku, he's kind of intrigued. Okay, so they're finally making a move. Izuku, yeah, what is it? I would like to speak to you in private for a minute, if you do not mind. Now, Deku is going to look around. Him going to stand back up, and then going to walk over. As the maidens tell Deku that they will need to have a private conversation. As Deku and the man do go walking away. Now, we do actually have where Deku, he is kind of intrigued. Okay, what's going to be happening then? Now, they do go around a corner and into a door. Where Deku, he actually does see that there are a few other people here. And Deku, he is sat down and the man is going to start. Well, Izuku. We have seen quite a good amount of strides in your teaching. Uh, thank you. However, we do have some concern. Concern? Yes, concern. So we will bring it up to you right now. I mean, it is only natural that over the course of life, across the world is changing, and, well, the balance needs to be maintained, that we do consult the Avatar. Now, the color would drain from Deku's face. And right now, Deku, he does this want to try to stand up. However, somebody they do go to walk up behind Deku and going to put their hand onto his shoulder. Deku going to turn as he see a man. Who does this tell him to sit back down? Okay, okay. Listen, I, I can explain everything. Young Avatar, there is no need. What? There is no need. You believe in our cause, and that is nice. It's good to know. For right now, we need to keep this under wraps. Everybody here, they could know you are the Avatar if you do wish. However, I do see the way you react. What do you mean? How many people have you told you are the Avatar since you arrived here? Um, exactly. Zero. Nobody outside of this room knows you are the Avatar. Everybody, from what we have monitored you, treat you as you are normal. Hang on, you're monitoring me? Well, yes, we are. However, you cannot blame us. As to why a celebrity would be in our midst is interesting to us. We consider it to be very rare. Now, we are informing you that we know because it that would be imperative to this operation. And exactly what will happen here. The place needs to go down because of what they've been doing. They have been corrupting waters, and they've been polluting air. And the conditions as to where this place is, 
has been deemed unnecessary. Many people have talked about getting this place destroyed. However, nobody is doing it. No one's gotten around to it. It should have been demolished over five years ago. However, the place, it is still running. And people, they just turn a blind eye. However, there are some people who, they are taking opportunities here. They are, well, hurting this place. They are helping to lessen the connections humans and spirits have together. Do you understand that, young Avatar? Um, w what do you mean? Well, I'm sure that you may have felt it before. But the spirit world, it is getting more and more aggressive. But it's passing century. There are people who, they make claims of being attacked by spirits. There are some who may have actually been. And then there are the ones who simply, they are taken. It is in my belief that one day the world will get to the point where spirits, they will force their way back here. They will claim this place as one of their own, take it, and do with the world what they see fit. We have been upsetting the balance. As we approach on their world, they will have less space. And what happens whenever an animal is cornered? Can you tell me that, young avatar? It fights back. Correct. What we seek to do is for the betterment of humanity. What we seek to do is stop. We wish to help better the world, and protect the spirit world. If we are able to take control, do what we need to, we will cleanse the world in fire, and bring balance to it. We will reshape the way the world works, through our methods, through flames. And well, we will make allies along the way. Now, Dekuki is confused. As Rei does get to try and stand up, metal clamps do go to directly shoot around Deku's wrist. And Deku, he does go to look down, see that his hands, they've been metal bended. Oh, I see. Deku is just going to flip his wrist. As the Moya is going to make a small movement, the metal bending does get to disappear. And Deku, he would go to stand back up. I'm... I, um... Hmm. Now... The man is going to want smile. Deku wanted to try to retaliate against that. He wanted to say something. However, being the Avatar, he must feel it too. The spirit world is in decline. And the human world, they haven't been doing too well either. Eventually, there will become a point where the two worlds will clash. Spirits and humans will have to battle. And if that day does come, humanity may not be on the best side. There are some spirits out there that are so powerful, they might as well be gods. And if he does have it correct, some may actually be. There is no way to know which stories in their history are true, and which ones are fake. If humans have to battle monsters, spirits, or, well, demons if you don't give them the name, it's the only thing they would know how to call them. The creatures of the night, the creatures of the other world. If they wage war against humanity, humanity may not have a chance. And right now, the man, he actually is waiting for Deku's input. As Deku, he just does get to walk away. And right now, he is trying to think about everything. However, we actually have Vatu and Raba, who both of them, they are at least arguing back and forth. Vatu, he does like where the guy is going. Even if he does have to agree with Rava about the spirit world being balanced with humanity, he will at least pass judgment there. And we do actually have Rava. Rava, she does understand that this man, he is trying to do the Avatar's job. Be the balance between humans and spirits. However, he's going about it the wrong way. And we do actually have Deku. Deku, he does want to say something bad about this. Say something negative. But I mean, hell, after everything he went over, the building's not safe. People... They could get hurt if it's still running, and... Shit. Shit. That'd be what Deku is thinking. And right now, Deku, he does got to go back to everybody else. 
as they do prepare for the day's events. Now, this would be where for a few hours things are getting put together. And right now, the people in charge, they are going to be assigning roles. Now, we do actually have where Deku, whenever everybody they are getting on a plane, you do actually have where somebody does go to stop them. And Deku, he is told about what's going to be happening. This is his final chance to back out. If he does not want to be involved, do not get on the plane. However, if he wishes to help play a bigger role, then take a step aboard. Now, Deku, he had to think on this. And after a second, he realized something. This could be bigger than the White Lotus. I mean, well, bigger than anything. Helping to rebalance the world and, well, fill that thing that was supposed to happen hundreds of years ago. Truly make balance. Okay, then maybe this can't all work. Now, Deku would go to walk past this person. As they do go someone smile, whenever he does take a step aboard. And Deku and everybody else, they are all sitting down. As Deku, he tries to think about what he should do. Going through with this could be a very big risk. If he tells people, tells his mom, tells the White Lotus that he's got things under control, or that he's got these people, something good, bad could happen. Okay, but seriously, what am I supposed to do then? Now, the operation will commence. And whenever everybody they would go to arrive at an airport, they do get into vehicles where they would go to meet up with other people. And whenever they do all get ready, there is whenever an entire group of people dressed in outfits, they are all standing outside. And right now, the security guards, they are all kind of confused, watching what is happening. Now, we do have where Deku, he, and everybody else, they do get ready, as a group of 20 people do start to rush the gate. And right now, there is where the operation does commence. The people rush the gate, some trying to blast upwards into the air to jump off the walls, and others do, do go to try and work on bending through the lock. There are some people here who they've been hired to help. And right now, one of them, they do go to bend through the lock, and then go to just pull the gate away. As when that does happen, Deku and a few other people do go to run in. And right now, Deku, when he does go to run in, he does a stop and take a bit of a stance. Him going to bring his hands together, and then going to start a movement. Him bringing up his hand, and then going to turn his body. Before, under his mask, he does try and activate the avatar states. And try to ask Vatu and Rava about this. Now, Deku, whenever he does go to do this, we do actually have where he does go to try and consult these two. And he gets an answer fairly quickly. Vatu is all for it. Bring balance back to the world. And then there is actually Rava. Rava, she hates to agree. But in order for both of them to eventually have their battle, they need to return to the spirit world. And well, destroying Vatu, this could be her only chance. Whenever the bonds between worlds weaken enough, when they grow stronger, there is a good chance, a good possibility, they can slip back inside and finish what they started thousands of years ago. Now, Deku, after getting the confirmation, he does go to directly send a large bolt of lightning. And the moment people they all are standing around, they actually go to see Deku. Deku directly goes to shoot a bolt of lightning directly into a building. And right now, the entire building is hit by it. The wall Deku hits immediately dis is destroyed. It being blown up, as parts of the wall, they are starting to get more damaged. And there is actually the electricity in the building. Right now, the entire refinery, it is shut down. And everybody, they do get ready. As the elders start to burst out their flames. And Deku, he does a step forwards. Him going to bring up his hands and going to burst out with his left hand. Now, with that being said, Deku and these people, they all would go to do this. They destroy the building, and they would quickly go to disappear after police arrive. Now, with that we actually have a bit of time later. 
where Deku, he actually is on a boat. And right now they are all heading to a location where they will be regrouping. And whenever the boat does go to pull up, Deku, he does at least go to bring his hand up and go to pull off his mask. As he does talk about how that was actually pretty interesting. You're damn right it was. That was amazing. Okay, okay. I, I, I hate to say this, and I really do. Izuku, that was a big-ass lightning bolt, man. Did it look cool? It looked cool. Now, Deku is going to bring his hands up. Talk about how he thought it looked cool. Dude, why did you get so good at lightning bending? Yeah, no, dude, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, I've had a good teacher, and, uh, I just, um, had confidence in that. I put a lot into it. You did. Yeah, we noticed. Now, there is somebody who they haven't been talking. And right now they are all, they are all trying to process what's happening. As when the everybody does go to stand up and leave, we actually have Deku does go to still linger. And right now, whenever somebody, they go to talk about how he needs to come back with them, because they need to regroup, he talks about how he wants to stay here for a minute. And just look at the water. Huh. You know, you're a pretty interesting guy. You think so? Yeah. Anyways, um, I gotta go catch up with everybody else. They're gonna be doing a head count. I'll tell them that you're over here. Later, man. The person went to walk away. We do actually have Deku. He does go to sit down for a minute. And he does go to watch the water. Him just looking down. Okay. So. He's really going through with this. It's. This feels weird. Is it weird? Huh. Okay. Well, it's a major decision. I mean, seriously. Uh, what is he supposed to say against it? Rebalancing humans and spirits? That could be what his journey is about. That could be what it's leading up to. Is that why he's been blessed with both? The two spirits who, well, he was never supposed to have? Huh. They're just going to somewhat lean down. As he does go to bring up his hand. And go to look down at the water. Okay. It's been a minute since I tried giving this a shot, so let's go. Now. Deku is going to bring up his hands. And right now he is trying to focus. Come on. Bend. Bend. Now. Deku, he is just listening and being careful. Come on, I know it's going to work. Now, it does still feel somewhat difficult to Deku. However, there is where somebody, they are behind him. And whenever he does get to hear a sound somewhere behind him, he does get a turn. Him looking around as he does hear water hit the ground. And Deku, he doesn't want to think that that was just a part of his imagination. He definitely heard somebody behind him, but the water, it was already crashing. Him looking down. Before going to bring his hand up, as somebody does come running up, telling him that they need him to come back over here. Alright? Uh, yeah, yeah, hang on. No, dude, like right now. Deku is just going to stand up. As he does, just go to walk away. Or, more or less, just run over. And right now, I do believe that is a good point to leave this part off of. And I do hope you guys enjoyed.